requires a Senate chairman, yes, any member of the board to care to remove an item for discussion. Is there any member of the audience that would like to discuss a consent agenda item? We have one person signed up, Mr. Brown. Do you want to remove your item from the consent agenda?
So what we're really looking at is also just some clarity on the use. Um, it was a little bit confusing what they are and aren't going to do and the scope of it. Um, so that's why it's before you tonight is to, to maybe parse that out and get a determination as to how this property is going to be used. Um, let's see, this is property owned by J.D. Linda Russell, and it is zoned rural residential. There is not a house on the property, but there is an existing pavilion, and at one point in time, there was a barn, but it has been removed, and now the request initially came in to put a pole barn back in front of the existing pavilion, uh, but when the staff looked, went on, on site and looked at it, there were some other questions that were raised. So we just wanted to bring it before the board for some clarity and determination on that. Um, let's see, it's 10.59 acres. And here, let's see, you can see it better on my computer, but <laughs> if you brought your microscope, uh, here is an aerial image of the property, and the arrows are pointing to the approximate location of the existing pavilion. Back in 21, they got approval for the barn, saying it was for family gatherings. And then when they spoke with staff, initially the question was, um, is a permit required for a concrete slab? And in that process, then it was noted that they were gonna put a pole barn on there with a bathroom, that it was for friends and family, but then it, they had some bigger plans for that property uh, that kind of gets into those uses we were discussing. Um, and one of them could, uh, well, I'll get there. I'm getting a little bit of up here. Um, so this is the proposed site layout. I just showed the other one uh, from 21, just for a little bit of a clearer image there. And there's that more recent aerial image um, that was taken in February 2024. And you can see that there's been Behind the pavilion area, there's been uh, quite a bit of clearing of land, about a quarter of an acre to half an acre or so. And then there's some structures back in the back of the property. And then there's where some land was cleared when staff went out for a little site visit. And let's see. And then this was a photo taken of the construction that was taking place at that time. And this was taken about a month later. We can see the electrical box there. And there's a, they stated that was an existing cross and that's kind of the site that they would eventually like to have uh, another building. Here's a couple of potential uses. Um, there's a community assembly, which is small, which is permitted by right, uh, and that is less than 150 people. There's a community assembly medium, which would uh, that's 150 to 500 people, and that would require a special exception from this board. And then if they're gonna do over 500 people for a community assembly, then that's gonna require a rezoning. And then there's another consideration would be a minimal impact facility, which would include the retreat um, that we've seen in the wedding event venues. And then, so here, here they are. A community assembly is, um, it could be social, religious, athletic, recreational purposes, with fellowship halls and facilities, and then as long as that's not primar primarily used for commercial activity. Um, and that's an outline of what I just described. And you can see they are like civic, social, fraternal, philanthropic, or a religious uh, facility. And the religious facility is defined as property is used for religious organizations for worship, education, and recreation. 
but not the primary function of producing products of printed material for sale um, or resale sales or commercial or open access accommodation. Uh, the retreat that we just discussed, if you're familiar with that, that's the wedding venue, but conferences, meetings, special events can be considered in there. And then the temporary use, um, I threw that in there, this may or may not apply, but that's you know outdoor performances. Uh, and again, that, um, that use would come back to this board as well, if that was the determination. Um, and then here's the example motions to find that the property at Castellian Springs, at 3549 Hartsville Pike, Castellian Springs meets the county zoning requirements for whichever use you determine appropriate, uh, or to find that it doesn't, um, and that it uh, doesn't meet one of those defined uses, and that it would have to come back to this board or another board for additional approvals.
community outings and things of that nature. Does anyone have a question of this request over? I'm not sure. Yes, go right here. What, uh, how do you uh, provide sanitary service for the people? Portable potties and things like that when we have it yet. Yes. And you, have, you said you have seating for 75. That if you have the outdoor pavilion, there's a maximum of seating for 75. You know, in that. Yes. Are there more people in there? It, when you have a gathering, you can't tell that it's exactly 75 will be there. There could be 30. Well, I don't yes, sir. Exactly, but you sure That's why I said 75. That's how it is. Uh, in my congregation, when you have new life ministries, there's maximum of our house is 140 people. That's in my congregation. Uh, you'll never get all the congregation to come, you know, to take out and go to an event because you have. 50, 75 percent, the rest of them don't go. Would you have a gathering every week? No, no, no. We uh, gathering will only be weather permitted, and they'll also be in the summertime or uh, once a month or even not even that often, as we need it. What about parking? Parking, if you'll notice on the property, there's a gravel driveway up. All the way to the back, we got plenty of parking on the grass. Open parking. Yes, sir. Open parking. Uh, any provision for emergency service? Uh, as far as attendees have each car. Well, then definitely we're going to have to have emergency service out there. Yes, and, and then we'll, we would have to have a, a call an ambulance or whatever. We would definitely take care of that. Oh, yes. Yeah, anyone can get in. There's not going to be any blocking the highways. There's not going to be any blocking in the coast. You got all the area in the back that you can put cars or whatever you need in the back. And, uh, and I'm asking these questions. Please do. Please, Please do. Well, I understand that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's all a beautiful thing. Yes. We do that. All right. And then about noon, we get a, or about two o'clock, a thunderstorm, drops two inches of rain back there. Right. How are we going to get the camera? Well, first of all, if I know the weather storm is coming, we're not going to have the outdoor thing happen. No, no. I know, but if it happens while we're there, we have to just sit and be patient until everything does. And if I have to get a uh, four wheel drive to approach and pull them out, I'll have to do that. Yes, sir. All that to me. But, uh, you know, we'll have all the things that we need there to pull the vehicles out if they get stuck. And yes, you're right. I know you can never tell about what might happen when it comes to nature and all this, but we won't have any trouble on like that. <coughs> if we do, we'll take care of it. We'll go for it. Now, I've seen and looking at all the information that's been submitted. I know. <laughs> it's been I've confusing. Seen, just about everything on the sun in the semester. Yes. I saw 30 to 60 bar. Oh, 40 by 80 yards. Right. right. And now we're working at the 25. Oh, 40 yards. Right. 24 by 40 yards. That is confusing. And the reason it has been, each time that uh, Mr. Uh, J.D. or Linda would go, they would tell them, hey, say this. And they didn't understand the questions or how to put it or what. And they were confused about it. But this is actually the definite plan that we have right now with no exceptions. Okay. On oh, one of the applications, Five right, that's what this and is. Now it's 10 that's, <laughs> there's actually two lots there. The D has two lots, lot 11 and lot 12. Each slot is a little over uh, five acres, and it's a total of uh, 10, what well, it is on here, 10.59 acres, what they got in two lots. Now we're only talking about lot 11, which is five acres. No, Changing up on me. I'm not changing. You, you were talking about you didn't come about 10.5. Totally. And now you're saying we're going to use the top of the weather. That's it. 
That's all we're asking to build, build on it, for rents for to build on it this time. Yes, sir. If anything is lot moved to be built on lot 12, we would go through the proper channels and get all the permits. But we're only asking for a concrete slab and a 20 by 40 building to be put on this to be used with the outdoor for being that's been there over five years. A permit to do this and go forward. Well, all I asked you for, when I asked him, I didn't just for this board to be able to know what you're doing. That's it. But your paperwork is not. And here is what you're requesting. Whatever paperwork needs to be adapted, we'll adapt whatever needs to be. And I'm sorry anything's been confusing in the past, but we'll go to the permit company, we'll stay right there, and we'll make sure everything's in clarity and show them exactly what it is that we need. Well, I, I was asking a question, hope you give the board time to think about it and think it through. We need the permit, sir, to go forward. What questions do the board have on this yeah, have any questions for me? I'm sorry. Uh, I have a question. You can play. Maybe this got explained somewhere, but the large area that you see up there on the screen, this large area that you see on the picture. Okay. What what is that for? What's that grading being there for? It looks like that's what it is. Um, so that's what I'm looking at. But there's a there's a large area. The large gravel. Gra okay. Gravel and, and it's been right. Out. That's where in the years past they had to make a drive, gravel driveway to go up, and they did that to put a gravel driveway to go up on top of the hill. That's the problem. Gravel. And see there, yeah, keep it back up. You'll see. Back up. There it is, right there. That was a gravel used for that. There it is. Now later on, we will be coming back to the board, maybe in five years or something like this, say, hey, we want to use another five acres to put a building on that. But now all we're needing is for the first 20 by 40 building that's final concrete. And we'll comply. We want to comply with every law in Tennessee and, and also in the Sumner County that is absolutely necessary. We will not do anything illegal if we don't do that. Thank you, sir. I have a question. Yeah, question. The site plan. The site plan, a little bit like you, is confusing as to what they do. Uh, so that, that one I would think needs to be updated for this new size building. Right now it's from 60 by 30. Hold on. That great? That was for me. What year, what year is that, 2011 on that home barn? Right. right. 2011. That was even before COVID and everything, and they were going to try to construct a home barn on it, but that plan has, and they got a permit to do it, but COVID came and all these other things came, and, and so they had to stop that. And now that we've come to the fact that we don't need a pole barn, we just need a building for storage and things like that to do refreshments. Well, I guess what I was getting to, um, do we have an up-to-date site plan with everything you plan to do on the site plan? The only thing going to be on site, yes, sir, it's this. Yes. Okay. What I presented to you. That's it. Turn on the mic. Yeah, I couldn't hear him. I'm sorry. I was over <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Thank you. I was having to lean over there trying to listen. Sorry about that. Yeah, it just, I'm kind of curious, do we have a, site plan that's up to date on what you're going to do and any future plans that you might do because that's helpful as well. The site plan is for us. This present right here, this present five acres is exactly like it is. Nothing's going to change other than the building. Other than the building. 20, 40, 20 by 40 is the size of the building. 20 by 40. So it needs to be up there. For the 20 by 30. By 40, sorry. 20 by 40. <laughs> and in 2011, they did sell a coal barn in the size of the city. Okay, that's all the questions I have. All right. I've got Mr. What What's the building on the back of the lot? I'm Sorry. looking at the pic a picture here. What's the building on the back of the lot? 
Uh, the, the buildings on the property are uh, portable buildings that they've had there for ever since they owned the property for storage. They have storage in those. They have articles that they have storage. So there's no there's no residents on the property. No, no. And where's the other lot? Is it to the right? You said eleven and twelve lots. There's two lots. But two lots. Yes. Right. And, and the one on the right is on lot twelve. And any building you see on that is a portable building, is all they did for storage. So that's not a resident? No, there's no right. residence, there's no nothing. Yeah. The storage building's on. That's all they Okay, Thank sir. You. Any other questions for the board of request? I do. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. In one of these plans, I saw a half bath. A what? A what? A half bath. A half bath. Half bath? Yes, a restroom. A restroom? Yes. That is correct. That was submitted in the packet as part There's of no the rest of that. for the barn, the new barn. There was going to be a half bath according to what right. was described as staff. Right. Okay, I apologize. In the 20 by 40 building, there would be a half bath in there in case they need somebody to use restroom other than the portable pot. Is Thank there you. is there water? Is there there's water. It's been on the property for ever since it was purchased. There's also electricity on the property, yes. No sewer septic. There's sewer. There's two sewers. It's been zoned for residential with sewers already. Yes. Uh, one is a uh, four uh, bedroom and then other one's three bedroom house. It's already been zoned, it's already have sewers, yes. Does anyone want fire protection? Fire protection? Uh, no, sir. I have not had the fire department out there to ask them to evacuate. Or if there's enough water available? There's plenty of water available, yes. There's water on the property. Yes. And there's actually fire hydrants right next to, we have actually the neighbor that owns the property next to us, and there's actually a fire hydrant there. Any other questions of this question? Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to state one thing. All I'm asking is the rest of the slab and the 20 by 40 building. If you need me to Revise that for the permit. I will definitely do that. Whatever you need to do, I will do it. And I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you letting me do it. Thank you. This is a public hearing. I'm a JD of Wendell Russell. Let's stand up to you. Please speak. Jack, he's talking. He can't hear. He can't hear you. <laughs> what was the question? He, he can't hear. I didn't hear you. You got his face. Well, I'm just saying that y'all are signed up to speak. Yeah. And now is your time if you want to. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anyone else here to speak to this request? Saying no one will close the public hearing. What, 
or the sports thing. I, I, I totally agree with you. I think at a minimum we need an accurate site plan for the full site plan showing all the buildings, showing this to you, the 20 by 40, the half bath, and exactly what we're dealing with. Because if you go back to the classification, it may, you know, probably need to review that now because it was a little confusing if you look at the different applications. The pan drawn site plan is kind of hard. So I agree, I think I'm agreeing with what you were saying is that at a minimum we need a, a new site plan that reflects what they're proposing to do. So I think staff, we can better understand it. With that being, if, if that's the thoughts of the board, my suggestion would be to defer action on it, give the request more time to come back with, with what we're looking for. Uh, I don't think it's really fair to, to turn it down, or we need to direct staff if it's actually a staff direction. Because they came to us with the question. I think it needs to be a, uh, as staff to have some requests for it, to make a formal submittal uh, and a uh, site plan uh, so that we all include staff and know what to uh, what do. Mr. I will say I, I do know that uh, these folks have retained Mr. Richard Graves and at least some of the past. Mr. Mr. Graves was supposed to be here this evening. He's very sick, and so he wasn't able to make it. And so, uh, but I, I believe we could probably talk to Mr. Graves and with, with, with these folks and, and get him to draw something up that might answer a lot of questions that folks have. That's a great response. Uh, I think you need a formal action from us or? Well, I think the, the biggest question, and based on what, it, as, as y'all kind of talked about the city, and in fact, we would agree with this, that there's just through the process, and we deal with this every day with, with applicants all the time, trying to drill down and figure out what exactly is going on. And, and sometimes it's, it, we ask the question in a way that folks don't understand, because they don't deal with what we do a lot. You know, when we talk about zoning and things are confusing and that, that kind of stuff. And so, what I'm hearing the man say is that the use the way he's clarified it this evening, it sounds, sounds like it's a the community assembly religious use allowed by rights probably in the RR zone. Through the review process, it's very, very hard to parse all that out. And that was that's how it ended up here. Um, the, the, where the building is going to go, where the septic system is, all those things, that can all be clarified on the site plan. If we if the board is comfortable with this use with what's been described use-wise, that was our biggest question. And the site plan was going to come next anyway. They're going to have to get us more uh, to because this is a non-residential non, uh, structure, we're going to have to have some kind of site plan anyway. And so maybe we can hand that on the back end. If, if the board is comfortable with the use, what's been described as the use, uh, then the, the, the staff might be able to deal with it from here. I agree with staff to deal with it. However, I think that uh, this board needs to see it. Uh, just to support staff uh, and if we could get it work, it would be, uh, if we defer it, that would give them time to put it together for the next month, to put it back. Mr. King. What, what was the reason that the historical overlay? There's a bunch of different versions of the map. Uh, the rep, the county's records from back, and the right, right. were not very good. And so we were able to actually find the find the, the accurate version of the map and it turned out I believe that this this wasn't in within that historic It's not in the historical Yes, that was that was that Because if it would have been it would have jumped up to a whole other level right. of right. things we had to deal with. Right, and then clarify so the big part of what was leaving there was here, but the Two components leading 
staff to say is a need to be determined by the board. Thank you for your question. Everybody agree uh, what the place is in it. I thought it sounds like a pretty well what we were looking at. Uh, is there any suggestion or addition uh, that we might have given to the staff? Thank you. 